everybody, it's Sadie from Hip in Detroit hanging out in our offices. Say hello everyone. Hello everyone. There's always somebody that will say the hello everyone. So who am I standing here with right now? Introduce yourselves. I'm Eric. I'm from Sisters of Your Sunshine Vapor. Yes. I'm Marco. I'm from Electric Retro Spectrum from Paris, France. That's so cool. And you guys are also from Paris? Yes. Exactly. What are your names? I'm Sarah. I'm the singer of Electric Retro Spectrum. Hi, and I'm uh, Gauthier Drummond. Nice. I was checking your stuff out online now that you say the name. I liked it. That's very cool. And? I'm Sean from Sisters as well. Sean, okay, so you guys are the masterminds behind a festival taking place at the Loving Touch this weekend, correct? That's correct. And this isn't your first time at the rodeo. No, it's the sixth year. Sixth year. I feel like that's a big deal. It is a big deal. And every year, do you guys always have two stages, or is that new to this year? Um, I think the first year we didn't. Okay. But... But since then, we've been doing the two-stage thing, and then we always try and do something fun. So this year... Oh, right? I'm going to get into that. I'm going to get into that. Really? So, Saturday night, correct? That's correct. How many bands do we have? Fourteen. This keeps freaking me out. <laughs> Fourteen bands, two stages, at the Loving Touch. Give me some names. Um, so we've got Keters. We've got Mexican Knives. We've got 800 Bloods. We've got... Retro, uh, electro, retro, spectrum, <laughs> motherfucking A. Come on, dude. Yeah. yeah. Like it's very good. <laughs> I get it when French people are like, <laughs> um, he can't I've got so many. Moonwalks. <laughs> Moonwalks, yeah, we just started Obelisk. Obelisk. Duende. 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 Yeah, I Duende. love them. Yeah. 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 Anyway, cool. so the cool thing about all that is not only is it a solid lineup, but you guys have this amazing idea, which I'm super excited about. You have 3D glasses on right now. You're very vivid, very like almost three. Without the glasses, life. I'm very yes. vivid. Right now, it's just extra, extra. <laughs> anyway, very lifelike. Yes. So the cool thing is, is that everybody that comes to the show is going to get a pair of these. That's correct. And we are going to have video projecting throughout everyone. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. So who made these videos? Um, so it's kind of a combination of, of the whole band. Uh, our visualist uh, Wayne Woodward it does all our live visuals, and he's curated uh, a lot of this. Our drummer. Uh, Rick has also helped, and I've done some of that uh, work as well. And so it's going to be kind of a combination of, of, of the three of us. And Wayne will be doing all of this live. Okay. So he's going to be doing videos, but he's also going to be doing live overhead projections, all of which will be in, in, in some sort of 3D. And how did we come up with this? Where did this come from? Marijuana. <laughs> no, we're not. We're not the first band that's done this. No, there's plenty. There's right plenty. Right there's plenty of people have done it. Um, oh, you try and do something different every year. And last year we did like diffraction glasses, which is going to put a bunch of rainbows out everywhere. So I don't have those. There's probably they're a pair. Of I, I can find a pair. Why? Yeah, you can just, you like can get like fifty of them. Yeah, they're like it's like a kaleidoscope. Um, so we've always tried to do something visual to accompany, accompany the music and. Um, we, we like to have that, that aspect of it, because we think uh, uh, the, the music is more than just, just the auditory experience, it's the whole visual experience, it's the experience of standing in a group of people, and we're trying to bring that all together. It's a gustatory experience, too. <laughs> Smell it, you can breathe it. You can it, definitely you can... smell it, especially at some shows. Yes, <laughs> especially that Pantera show, right? Yeah, oh yeah, Durfest smells interesting. <laughs> that's one of the many things that you can say about it. So yeah, we're just trying to bring bring a, 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 a bigger experience to to a show that probably normally wouldn't, you know, that wouldn't have the budget for it or is a smaller show, um, you know. Yeah, because you printed all of these yourself. In my basement. Correct. Yes. That's crazy. How long did that take you? Two days. Two days. He does the posters as well. Yeah, the, the posters are... Oh, the posters are in 3D, oh, yeah. which yeah. I didn't get to personally see, but that's not... I should have brought one with you. You should have brought one with yeah. you, because it would be a trip. Yes. So that's awesome. How much are we spending to get in the door? Uh, 12 bucks. 12 bucks for 14 bands. Yeah. That's, like that's less than a dollar. Less six, than a dollar six, band, two, baby. Uh, six, 6 p.m. to 2 a.m. Okay, yeah. 6 p.m. I was wondering what... Santa Rise kicks it off. That's Marcy Bowen's uh, new project. Oh, I love her. Yeah. Silver yeah. Ghost, Don Bondi's. I mean, she's done a bunch of stuff, so she's going to do some... All ages, too. Yeah. Bring your kids. Yeah. Bring your toddlers, yeah. Bring your toddlers to the show. Bring your toddlers. That's what you we're going to try to sell. Hey guys, bring your toddlers to the show. Do they get half off the kids? <laughs> that tip can we give half off for kids? I mean, hey, we got to get them in young, right? right? First hit's free. So. Kids, uh, yeah. <laughs> kids, kids get $2 off the web beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dollar off web beer from... Uh, 
five thirty to nine. Mm -hmm. Oh, so. cool! So get there early so you can see the early bands and get cheaper beer, which is super. All important. the bands are fantastic. Yeah, definitely. And what else do you guys have coming up after this? Um, we're doing. We're gonna hit the road, and we're gonna be. We're gonna go south in the winter. <laughs> <laughs> we got like nine or ten days through the deep south, and then in April we're doing an Italian and Spanish and probably French and Greek tour as well. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. More info on that. We'll probably be playing with yeah. them. How long are you guys in town? Uh, we're in town until like after Thanksgiving. Oh, okay. okay. Is like it your first time here? Uh, first time here. Not what in do the you US, think so far? Fucking cool. Good. Fucking cool. That's what I want to hear. <laughs> that is exactly what go we're Go see them in for. New York. Go see them in Fort Wayne. Okay, so you guys are going to be touring around for a while. Awesome, yeah. so we'll put that up. Well, cool. Thank you guys for talking to us, and head out Saturday night to see Met the Loving Touch. Echo Fest. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're all from Washington, D.C., and she came over, and we recorded her band at my old house, and she just stayed for a week, and we ended up, like, Kind of becoming like a thing, and but I used to say we fucked a lot, so. <laughs> no, no, I mean there was like a really good friendship. <laughs> no, <laughs> I care about friendship too. Yeah, anyway, anyway, so you know she went back to DC and she's like, yeah, I'm gonna buy a plane ticket to come out like four months later. I'm like, all right, cool. And in the meantime, I was just kind of like, yeah, it's not gonna work, man. I can't do like this ten hour thing, like. And then she was like talking about moving to Detroit, and I'm like. No. You're really cool, like, you love music, I love music, it's cool, like, I'm not ready for that yet. No. Anyway, so, <coughs> we are not a thing anymore. She dates another guy named Sean, spelled mm -hmm. the same way, who runs a record label with Phil and Samo. And I posted something on our Facebook, like, oh, remember that time we smashed bottles in the basement and recorded it? And Phil and Samo saw it and got really pissed off. He said, like, fuck that guy, man, I'm gonna fuck that guy up. Because yeah. <laughs> he is very aggressive. Yeah. Holy shit. Fucking hostile, right? Yeah, he was. <laughs> That's the best. That was actually the best one line ever. Yeah, yeah. Fucking hostile. My story about Phil and Samo is not as exciting. It's just the first penis I ever saw that wasn't a family member's wiener. And I don't wow. have to. Wow. That's weird.